In this section, we'll be looking at our intersect group. And I'll start by opening up the intersect group folder and double-clicking intersect.scdoc. The intersect group in the design tab lets us do all of our Boolean operations inside of SpaceClaim. We'll be looking at the differences between combine and split solid today. We'll be looking at how to use combine to cut multiple targets at the same time. And we'll also be looking at how to use the project tool to project edges or text onto a model. The first thing I want to do is create a surface to help show the differences between combine and split solid. I want to select on the axis to sketch on, but sometimes that can be difficult. If I try to roll my mouse through the model, you notice I have to roll several times in order to get the axis. A faster way to do this would be to select a cylindrical face and place an axis into the model from the Insert tab. That places an axis that's easily selectable because it sticks out of either side. Now I'll select the axis and create a quick sketch. I'm going to sketch three lines starting from outside of the model, running along the axis, and then back out again. Now when I hit pull, we have three curves in space. I'll double click to choose them and then pull them in both directions. I'm doing this so I can create a single surface that has three faces. Notice our new surface has been created and it has three faces on it. One, two, three. Now let's use this surface to help look at the differences between split solid and combine. Combine always stands for the combination of two objects. This can be two solids, two surfaces, a solid and a surface, a solid and a plane, or even a surface and a plane. And you can use this to merge or split. Split solid, on the other hand, always splits a solid. It always cuts a solid by a planar face, a cylindrical face, a spline face, or a plane. So let's say I wanted to use split solid to cut this blue model by our surfaces. First, we'll click the target object, which is our blue solid. Next, notice it's letting me cut with one single face. If I choose this face to cut, it splits this solid into two pieces. If I wanted to split with our other two faces, I would need to hold control to select an additional cutter. So if I hold control and select the second face, it cuts this solid into now four different sections. But I would still need to cut it a third time on this face. So if I hold control and select on our third face, now it's split into six different sections. And I could click on our center one to remove it. But let me undo. I'm going to undo four times. Because now let's look at how combine works to do that. Combine always cuts with an entire object. So if I click this as the target object, I'll choose Keep Cutter in our options on the left middle side of the screen. Remember, we have options for every tool that we're in. And I'll select our cutter surface. This cuts with the entire surface body, so it splits this into two sections automatically. So depending on what action you'd like, you can determine whether you should use combine or split solid. If you're splitting a solid with one face, split solid is a very fast action and doesn't require you to insert a plane. However, if you want to split with an entire body or multiple faces on a surface at the same time, it's usually a good idea to use combine to cut with a surface and then to remove the region that's interfering. So take some time to create the surfaces and use combine to cut this section of our blue model out.
Now let's look at cutting multiple solids at the same time. I'm going to remove this surface to start, and I want to cut all of these models with a plane. So the first thing I'll do is select the axis and place a plane into our assembly. You'll notice if I click the Combine tool, it says click to select a target object. Or I can box select to choose multiple targets. I'm going to box select our entire assembly. You'll notice that all of them highlight in a neon color, indicating that they're all targets. Now I'm down to select a cutter or a merge. I want to select this plane as a cutter. You notice when I click the plane, it's going to cut all of our solids at the same time. Notice now all of these models have been split in half. And if I click on either region, I can remove them. But let's look at a fast way to remove all of these. I'm going to go to our Orient group in the top left of the screen and go into a right view. Now you'll notice that if I click, it's very easy to select on everything on one half of our assembly. Or I can do this in a faster method by box selecting to removing them. If I box select from right to left, anything that's touching my box will be removed. This makes it very easy to make a few box selects and remove everything on one half of our model. So if I go back into a home view, you'll notice that I've cut everything in half. So now I can see inside of our model very easily. And just as a note, this is different than a cross section. A cross section visually lets you see the section and see inside of a part where cutting the model in half, I've actually removed everything on one half of our model. So take some time to place a plane in the model and try to cut all of the solids at the same time and then remove them with a box select. The last thing we'll look at is our project tool. So I'm going to rotate to the other side of our model and use project to place some text on our part. To start, I'm going to click our detailed tab and place a note on our model. If I click the note tool, you'll notice that whatever face I hover over, it asks me if I want to place a plane there. I'm going to place a note on this face here. Now I can choose any type of font to use. I can choose Arial, I can choose Calibre, or I'll choose Arial Black. Now whatever I type will end up in the note, and I can drag the note to position it on the plane. Now that I've created my note, let's project this onto our part. We'll do that by clicking the Project tool. Now first it's asking me to select what I would like to project. And I'm going to select our note. I could select our note, I could select edges, or I can select an entire solid. Next it's looking for a direction. It will always project normal unless you specify a direction. And last it's asking to select a target face. If you're working on a single part, in most cases you won't have to select a target face. But if you're working on an assembly where there's several faces behind the note or the projected object, you should probably select which face you'd like to project onto. And I'll select on this pink face behind the note. Now you'll notice that you can see the edges of our note projected onto the part behind it. And if I click Enter or Pull, we now see those curves projected onto the solid. So our face has been split into different sections. And if I select on those curves, I can pull them outward to thicken them.
So I hope you've seen how you can use our intersect tools to cut multiple targets at the same time and also how to project curves or text onto a model.